Hey, so in this video, I'm gonna style six trending sneakers. So the world of sneakers has changed drastically. And I think the biggest change is just that hype is dead. There aren't any sneakers that really come out and are super hyped and reselling for a thousand to two thousand dollars anymore. I think as a result of that, it might seem like sneakers are dead, but in reality, I think it's just that resell is dead and that certain sneaker models and certain sneaker brands are just really oversaturated in the market. So another way to put it, resell and hype are kind of dead, but having your own fashion sense, your own style, and putting that together with your own creativity, that's still very much alive. And that's why I still love sneakers. So I mentioned some sneaker models and brands are a bit oversaturated, but because of that oversaturation, it's really opened my eyes to a lot of other sneaker brands and silhouettes that are out there. So hopefully I can introduce some of those sneakers to you in this video, how I style them, and really just share my own fashion journey. So yeah, let's get into it. So the first sneaker, the Solomon XT6s. These sneakers got really big because of the Gore Core trend, but they're not just your typical trendy sneaker. These sneakers are actually really functional, they're really comfortable, and they have a really unique aesthetic to them. So because of those three traits, they're one of my favorite sneakers, and I think they have a lot of staying power in the sneaker world. Styling the Solomons, the fit is just Gore Core. But a key detail on the fit, wide pants with a cinch. These are Smith Summits from Nike ACG. I think the cinch gives a really interesting shape and silhouette from the width of the pants into kind of the thin silhouette of the sneakers themselves. So really, I think that's the main key detail for styling these. And up top, you can throw on any rain jacket that you want. These are a really beautiful jacket from a small Australian brand called Mutimer. But any rain jacket with a boxy kind of wide fit works really well. So yeah, this fit is really simple. Really anything gorpy or technical goes really well with the Solomons. All right, next sneaker, Jordan 4 Military Blues. So this is a classic sneaker. It's an original Jordan silhouette that he actually played in and one of the original release colorways for the Jordan 4. These sneakers are beautiful in my opinion, but they're lacking in comfort and they're definitely not the best quality for your money. What you are getting and what you're paying for is for nostalgia, you're paying for a classic silhouette, you're paying for this really beautiful sneaker in terms of design and the colorway and the renown that this classic Jordan really has in the sneaker space. So the fit here, really minimalist and normcore, kind of like retro, casual, whatever that means. Up top, we have the perfect white tee. I'm wearing it right now, and this is the Uniqlo Arizm oversized tee. The bottoms, also Uniqlo, a wide fitting light wash denim. It's really for this fit, you're just going for really nice fitting pieces that maintain that clean aesthetic of the sneakers. And I think simplicity is really key for styling classic Jordans. So the big statement piece for this fit is the quilted oversized bag in cobalt blue from Koss. And I think this bag really just adds a nice highlight to the fit overall and keeps it from being too simple or too boring. So next sneaker, the Hoka Tour Ultra Lows in all white. So the sneaker is a chunky hiker I think it really goes into that fashion trend of urban outdoors. So these sneakers are technical, they're lightweight, and really, I think the Tor Ultras have a really unique aesthetic that only Hoka has currently in the sneaker market. You can't really find sneakers that look or feel like this uh, from any other brands that are out there. So coming over to the fit, we're really going for comfort and really just athleisure for this style. We have some really relaxed sweats at the bottom. These are Fear of God Essentials. We have a cropped black hoodie from Ruport that adds some nice contrast. And we have a slouchy bag from Grimici and the slouchiness of it really just goes with that relaxed styling overall. So this fit baggy, oversized, and really just comfort maxing our way into something that's fashionable. All right, next sneaker, I'm definitely not gonna say this right, the Kleeman Majors. So not really a sneaker, it's a leather shoe. Kleeman or Clemon is a French brand and this silhouette really plays into trendy leather sneakers or trendy leather loafers and derbies. So Kleeman is the most affordable leather footwear brand that I found that makes footwear in this sort of styling. And it's just a nice alternative to really expensive options like Paraboot. 
but a nice leather shoe is a really good option to have in your rotation. And I think these are really clean, but still unique and stylish enough to not be super boring. So for this fit overall, try to keep everything super refined, clean, and simple. Up top, we have a washed brown leather jacket, again from Mutimer, that small Australian brand that's also really popular on social media, so maybe not that small. But this jacket fits really well. It's wide and slightly cropped, and the aesthetic goes really well with the shoes. The pants here, we have some baggy black pants for an interesting silhouette because they're a bit wider. These are JW Anderson and Uniqlo wide chinos. So with the leather jacket and the black pants, it's just a really easy way to dress down the shoes, but also dress up the fit with the shoes themselves. All right, next sneaker, probably the most expensive sneaker on this list. These are the Norda Ones. It's a really technical trail runner that's really marketed for its performance. And they feature a really unique upper using Dyneema. And Dyneema is the synthetic material that's supposed to be super lightweight, super strong, and used on a lot of hiking gear typically. But this sneaker, I think the design of them, they're just beautifully rugged yet minimal at the same time. And I love how they actually perform really well too. But the fit for this one, we're going with kind of casual streetwear styling. Up top, we have a black paneled crew neck from Braindead, and the black paneling just adds a lot of depth to the outfit. And the panel denim below, I think the panels go nicely together with the panels on the crew neck. And this pair is a collab from Grumichi and Anne Wander. So tying it all together, this is a beautiful bag that adds a lot of refinement. This is the leather tote from Stussy and Our Legacy. So this fit, it's still streetwear, but it's definitely updated nicely for 2024, where the branding is a bit more subtle, there aren't any large graphics or logos anywhere, and I think it just gives it a refined look while still being true to kind of the streetwear roots. And the last sneaker, New Balance. 2002 R's. So this is still one of the most popular, affordable, and mainstream New Balance sneakers that are available on the market. So they're definitely oversaturated, but to me, they're still a really great casual sneaker to have. I think out of all the New Balance silhouettes, it's probably the most balanced New Balance sneaker in terms of design, comfort, aesthetic. It's just the perfect middle ground running sneaker to have. So the fit with the 2002 R's, again, really simple, gorpy slash urban outdoors. Honestly, I probably could have made a better fit with this, but if you're looking to just run out the door, I think this works pretty well with 2002 R's. Up top, fitted rain jacket in black. These are Uniqlo's Block Tech Parka, which is a really affordable alternative to more expensive rain jackets. And pants, we just have some fitted nylon pants. These are from Nike ACG and are called the Sunfarers. And from the jacket to the pants, everything is just a slim fit. All black, I think, gives it a sleek look for that urban outdoors trend. Overall, I think it's just an easy fit to throw on for lifestyle, think rainy city activities. So yeah, six ways to style six trending sneakers. Hope you enjoyed this. Give it a like, hit the bell, leave a comment and subscribe. Let me know if you've picked up any of these sneakers. Follow me on socials. If you're looking for more trending sneakers and brands, check out this video here. All right, thanks so much. Catch you in the next one.